Last year was the first growing season we used these and we absolutely loved them. So the reason you want to do this is so those diseases and insects don't impact or hurt your plants this year from last year's. Hey there, we're out in our garden today. We've got a lot to do just like you. And today we are cleaning our smart pots. We've got a lot of them. I think we've got at least 25 yeah, to something like that. clean up. And we got some new ones from smart pots. So we're going to show you and unbox those and show you what we got. I know we, I, we're, I'm so excited. We're digging into this today, but if you missed our previous video, we transplanted a whole bunch of seedlings out of our winter drugs finally, but we got them transplanted and we're going to keep you posted on how they grow. So for now, let's get to the smart pots. So here are all the smart pots that we used last year. Now these are the seven gallon pots with handles. In case you missed that, we'll put the link right up on top of the screen here. We grew all of our dahlias in these last year and they did really well. We can't wait to get them planted uh, back in these and just keep them growing. I know, but first step is we need to clean and disinfect these from last season. So just to be safe and you know be have everything ready to go um, for the healthiest start for our dahlias. And the first step was, we actually did this already. We actually had to spray these all out with high pressure water and just kind of like clean them out. Yep, there was still a lot of debris left in them. And so you can see some of the remnants in the grass. And so, yep, so got that out. Now we're gonna take them over and uh, fill up the tub and show you how we're gonna do it. Exactly. So here we are, I've got the gloves on. Yes. This is gonna be fun, making an official. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each one of these bags. We've already, like Allison already said, we've got all the debris out of them, the big chunks. We just need to disinfect them. So we've got a tub here. We've got some OxyClean, um, some cleaner. The directions really don't show what to do in this situation for this. We're just gonna kind of make our own kind of solution here and we're just gonna figure it out, go by go by feel. And so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna dump some of this in, we're gonna fill it with water, we're gonna mix it up and then we're just gonna take each one of these guys and dunk it in a little bit, disinfect it in the solution, and then bring it out and let it dry. And so that's what we're doing today. So the reason you want to do this is so those diseases and insects don't impact or hurt your plants this year from last year. So that's why we're doing this. So one thing to keep in mind is you can actually put these in your washing machine, your clothes washing machine, but you can't put them in the dryer. So if you want to go that route, you can. We're not going to do it. We're going to do it this way. So first step, what we're going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of this in here and uh, put my lid back on so we don't spill it everywhere. That wouldn't be fun. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our hose here and just garden hose. And we're going to activate this. Oh yeah. Got some bubbles, love bubbles. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to take one of these bags. This is literally what I'm going to do. I'm just going to disinfect it like this. Look at all that. Oh yeah, that's good. So there's that, there's that there. I'm going to set it over there. Done. Rinse later. All right, so I'm just gonna get the rest of these done. Here we go. All right, so bags have been washed. No, they've been rinsed out disinfected with the OxyClean, and then we rinsed them out one more time just to make sure all the OxyClean was off. Even though we know that OxyClean, um, this is actually recommended by the Smart Pots company because it's a, yes, it's a detergent, but it is safer for the environment. So we kind of are taking a little bit of a chance there, but this is what we need to use. Other, we can't use our own washing machine. Yep, and they smell really good they now. They do smell very clean. Cool. They're disinfected, and we found a big spider in one of them. So yeah, um, even after all the dunking and that everything. That was a little terrifying. Yeah. So basically, next steps are we're letting them dry out in the sun right now while we do some other things around the garden, and then we'll stack them all up and um, hold them over until we're ready to plant in them in a couple of weeks. Yep. Dahlias, here we come. I know. Can't wait. So in the meantime, we have a couple new Smart Pot bags to open that they sent us. So we are really excited to pull these out. Oh, hey. So let's see. I think it's dry right here. Oh, and Sean doesn't mind me opening these. Sorry, I'm in the shot. That, okay. Okay. So came like this. So we did look in here, but we haven't opened them yet. So we are going to use this year the raised bed planter. Oh, this look is at that. This is so awesome. Oh, this wow. is eight feet long. Wow. Do you have your clippy things on you, Sean? So I we do. can clip these? I do. And clippy things being, you know, technical for pruners. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just open these up. Let's see either that or the pocket knife. Oh, this is kind of not you want really pocket knife? Cutting that. Okay. Well. Cut it. Okay. Let's 
see. Oh, I'm so excited. It's eight feet, eight long. feet long. And what? I think if I see that right, it has like three big sections. Whoa. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This Jeez. is so cool. I've never seen a smart pot so big. I didn't even open awesome. it by myself. So, oh, okay. it has more than three sections. Okay. Here, hold on, guys. So here it is, you guys. Look Ooh. how cool this is. This thing is ginormous. Have you guys ever used their planters in your garden? Because we wow. are super excited to plant in this. These are huge. So, I mean, there's so many possibilities. Yeah, I think... Um, but we should do some vegetables, uh, maybe some perennials. Yeah, definitely. I mean, We've gosh. got a lot of things to plant. So, yay. Okay, so that's the first one. All right. So, okay, next up. Next is. There's the other one. This. What do we have here? This is a 100 gallon Smart Pot bag. Whoa. 100 gallons. Okay. Wow. It does everything Smart Pots are supposed oh to do, but it's, it's like a 100 gallon container it's huge this reminds me of one of those costco dog beds i know right it almost looks like the same size oh my god wow my goodness look at this you guys here i may have to like here. get in here can't even hold it open. And let me let me get over here so we can put it into scale with the eight foot bed <laughs> i can't even get it open. wow stay open that's this cool. is gonna be so much fun i see us wow we could grow like multiple things in here oh yeah easily I mean, I, you know, Smart Pots, uh, Eric, uh, who we know over there, he was telling us they grow, they grow trees in these. Oh, that's so cool. You know, like, like fruit trees and other, like evergreen trees to then sell. Wow. I mean, that's pretty cool. These are amazing. I can't wait. We could put either multiple dahlias in here. We can put multiple perennials. We can put annuals. I mean, the sky's the limit. It's a Smart Pot smorgasbord over here. Smorgasbord. So you guys stay tuned. We're going to be planting and figuring out what we're going to do with these in the next few weeks. Um, yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. Woohoo! So that's a wrap for today's video, you guys. We really hope that was helpful, especially yeah. if you're using any type of fabric bags in your garden, too. Yeah, it doesn't have to be Smart Pots. It can be other kinds of fabric bags, but I mean, Smart Pots are what we're using. So if you want to know more about Smart Pots, click the link down below in the description and make sure to uh, leave your comments down below for us. We love hearing from you guys. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you get updates on our latest videos. Stay tuned for our next video, you guys. We're going to be tackling some Crocosmia around our garden that really needs to be transplanted, right? Yep. And we also have a new bulb to plant, too. So we want to show you how to uh, correctly plant that Crocosmia. Yep. So until then, we'll see you later.